Take Two Interactive gearing up for the release of its newest version of Grand Theft Auto tomorrow. Both gamers and investors alike are already looking ahead to the release of another game, Nintendo's Wii Fit, two in U.S. stores next month. Our Silicon Valley Bureau Chief Jim Goldman has a sneak peek. Yeah, Mark, I would pay such good money to see you on this device. You have no idea. Maybe we could incorporate it into that whole million-dollar portfolio giveaway. Anyway, Grand Theft Auto might be the big software, but Nintendo once again has got the big hardware gamers seem most excited about. A new way to play and a new way, believe it or not, to get exercise. Gamers forked over a staggering $1.7 billion for new video games and hardware just in March. One, two. With the industry now gearing up for the next big thing in gaming, and once again, it'll come from Nintendo. We Fit is about bringing fun into fitness. I'm trying to focus on stretching your spine. This is the latest technological marvel from Nintendo, the aptly named Fit. In the same way Nintendo's unique Wii hand controller turned the video games industry upside down, the Wii Fit is after the same kind of revolution. What it's going to do is continue to bring new audiences who've never thought about gaming into video gaming, as well as be something that's really going to give core gamers a big challenge. The $90 accessory turns the Wii into an exercise machine, a kind of balance board that lets players use their whole bodies to play a game, a way the company says it can attract female players with yoga and exercise programs. We're bringing more women into gaming. Nintendo's already sold 8 million Wiis in the U.S. since its release, way ahead of Sony's PlayStation 3 and Microsoft's Xbox 360. And now with this new Wii Fit, threatening to widen that gap even more. I haven't seen Haynes glued to a piece of tape like that in a long time, oh. right? Here was a look at the impact the game will have on the gaming industry, investors, and the field of medicine. We've got Jim Goldman, Michael Pactor, who's a gaming analyst with Wedbush Morgan, and Dr. Justin Liu, chair of Back and Trauma Rehab at St. Mary's Medical Center in San Francisco. He pioneered what he called a rehabilitation program. And I'm going to let Mark have a question him because I know uh, that Mark has lots of questions here. But Jim, let me just ask you, you tried it out. We saw people doing a little hula hoop action and things like that did, did it work it's weird i mean it's a really weird experience a bizarre way to interact with games that we really haven't seen before you can pop in your height it calculates your weight it puts together your body mass index so it really knows as a small piece of hardware a lot about your body so it can customize the experience and then once you're up there moving around i did yoga and i did aerobics it was really kind of a cool thing you're almost completely oblivious to the fact that you're getting a workout in because you're so in tune with what's happening on the screen and I think that's part of the point. Mark? Geek! 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 <laughs> geek! <laughs> Come on folks! Buy a bicycle! Get out in the fresh air! Do some push-ups! I mean if you're not... Uh, uh, don't we have a, a fitness expert here among the guests? Come on! If people aren't going to get off their butts, do some sit-ups and push-ups, what are the odds they're going to do anything with this machine? You know, I, I think you need to think about the target demographic, and it's really 35 to 55-year-olds. You know, I have some friends, Steve and Julie Shlom. You know, Steve's 40, Julie's 35. They have three little kids. They're not gamers. And when they heard about this product, they're rushing out. You know, she's going to go to Target. He's going to Best Buy. They're going to buy it because he's embarrassed to do yoga in front of women, and she just doesn't have a place to put her kids when she's working out. So, you know, I mean, it's a kind of thing, you know, I'm going to do it. Mark, i got to say, you should do it. Jim's in shape, so he doesn't need it. It's something that, you know, truthfully, I think that, you know, I would never be caught dead doing yoga in front of women, but I'm going to try it. I have a wee at home. I have little girls. I would girls. be caught dead doing right, let's, yoga, period. Let's get Dr. Lou in here. Dr. Lou, here's the thing. Is this just one of those, you know, similar to those advertisements on TV? You remember that thing you could strap it on and they said have a beer and turn it on and your abs are going to get taut remember that one i mean is it in that category or is this the real deal i actually think this is definitely the real deal here i mean uh, nintendo before with their conventional wii um you know is already very innovative but now with this uh balance board technology it's like you know revolutionary and it's really going to change the way people play games as well as you know for myself like using it in my practice with helping rehab patients at st mary's Mark, why wouldn't you try it? You've got back problems. 
you know, I, I, I'm sorry. The problem I have with any of these devices is it isolates you from other people. Go out and take a nice walk around the neighborhood well, and not, talk not to some she, neighbors. But that's get on a bicycle Mark, that's, that's and, maybe, and go ahead. Well, I, don't, I, I was just going to say it, it doesn't isolate, and that's really why the Wii and a lot of these game systems now, including PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, it's becoming a far more social experience. And I got to tell you, if you have played the Wii, this is why that hand controller was such a big deal because it changed the way everybody played. You're playing with somebody in a far more active way. You're not just sort of concentrating on the screen. You're concentrating on everything around you and moving your body in the process. And you can't argue with success. This thing sold a million units oh, I'm in not the first few weeks it was available in Japan. So <clears throat> I, th I think that this has got real potential here. And it just shows that Nintendo is once again moving the market through to a new kind of innovation. No, I'm not saying they're not going to sell a lot of them. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Dr. questioning Lou, whether there might you. be... Rehab, Easier, does it work? cheaper ways. Yeah, well, that's a fair point. <laughs> yes, for, it, for rehab, yeah. For rehab, it definitely works. I mean, we've already had great success with using the Wii, you know, helping patients with their hand-eye coordination, their motor planning and sequencing, you know, their reaction times and overall balance. But the Wii Fit, the balance board's really going to open that up and target specifically center of gravity training and balance. And I, it's going to be, like, uh, so helpful for all the rehab patients who have had neurologic injuries. All right. Well, thanks so much, Jim, Michael, and Justin. Appreciate your being thanks. with us.